Welcome to Delish Dish. Everyone in my house is sleeping, so my first video is going to be a voiceover. Today, I'm going to be showing you Crock-Pot Roast. I usually start mine at 5 a.m. in the morning, so it's ready by 4 or 5 p.m. usually. In my future videos, you're going to see my actual face and me cooking um, the dinners that I cook on a daily basis that I would like to show to you. I'm going to introduce my channel and put some of this information that I'm saying right now in my channel description. This is called Delish Dish with Mandy. I will be sharing my love for food with all of my viewers. You might learn some tips and tricks from me, and you might learn sometimes I measure and sometimes I don't. Or you might just enjoy watching. Everyone is welcome to make and try my recipes and the way I cook at home. I make all kinds of food with no labels. Some ingredients might be processed, some might be pre-prepared, some might be fresh, some might be a box and sometimes from a can. Sometimes I use processed food, sometimes I use pre-prepared food. Nothing is specific to any culture. I like all kinds of food. I just do what I think is delicious. Everything I know about cooking is from family, Google searches, and lessons I've learned from mistakes and trying new things. I'm not a professional chef. I did not attend culinary school, but I did take a classic baking class in like high school and ones that everybody else takes you know the basic class I'm not a nutritionist I don't know how many calories or servings are in my recipes so cook at your own risk my recipes are not specific to one diet like vegan low carb keto low fat low sodium dairy dairy free etc. This is why I say no labels. Just simply cooking delicious dishes. I am not a brand ambassador and you don't have to use the same exact ingredients or items that I use. As you can see in my video here I have McCormick bag seasoning and I have a uh, great value, I think, gravy, and you're more than welcome to use whichever brand you like, whichever kind of gravy you like, or you could even make your own seasonings, whichever you choose to do. If you're here to relax and soothe your mind um, and listen to me chopping vegetables, that's fine too. You're more than welcome. I'm not a market affiliate I don't promote products I'm not getting paid to promote products in my videos these are just things that I like to use when I'm cooking I hope you enjoy watching and I thank you for your support I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what's going on in my video right now um, I'm putting garlic on here now I'm putting celery and onion I usually chop up fresh garlic and put it in there but I didn't feel like doing it this time I just bought the minced garlic already made I also bought chopped up onions and celery already these are red potatoes that I put in here. Sometimes I use russet potatoes. Meat tenderizer. Lots of meat tenderizer. I love that meat tenderizer. It's so good. 
a little bit of garlic and onion. I feel like just a little dash of the seasoning boosts the product, makes the fresh vegetables taste come out more, I feel like. So this is the gravy. You can use two gravies or you can use two or three McCormick packets. I usually put in a little extra water because I have no self-control when I go all out and fill my crock pot all the way up to the top. This is what it looks like finished and it was so good. It took about all day long to cook on high for four to five hours and low for three to four hours. It was done by three or four in the afternoon. Thanks for watching.